Hello techies. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn about FTP actions in Power Automate Desktop. Before going to work with FTP actions, we will understand the basics of FTP. What is FTP? FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. The main purpose of FTP is used to transfer files from one host to another host over a TCP-based network such as internet. FTP is a client-server protocol that relies on two communication channels between client and server. It's a command channel for controlling the conversation and a data channel for transmitting file content. All right, now we will see how this FTP works. A user typically needs to log on to the FTP server Although some servers make some or all their content available without login also. This kind of model will known it as anonymous FTP. The client initiates a conversation with the server when the user requests to download a file. Using FTP, a client can upload, download, delete, rename, move and copy files from one host to onto the server. FTP sessions works in two modes. One is active mode, another one passive mode. First of all, we'll see what is active mode. After a client initiates a session via command channel request, the server creates a data connection back to the client and begins transferring the data. This kind of mode we'll call it as active mode. Whereas passive mode, the server uses the command channel to send the client the information, it needs to be open a data channel. In that case only, it will work to transfer the files to the server. Because passive mode has the client initiating all connections, it works well across file walls and network address translation gateways. All right, now we'll see what are the several types of FTPs that we have. If you see, there are several different ways an FTP server and client software can conduct a file transfer using FTP. One is anonymous FTP. Second one, FTP secure, that we will call it as FTPS. FTP over explicit SSL or, or TLS. Another one, secure FTP. All right, we will learn about these FTP types in detail one by one. First of all, we'll start with anonymous FTP. This is the most basic form of FTP. It provides support for data transfers without encrypting the data or using a username and password. It is most commonly used for downloading material that allowed for unrestricted distribution. It works on port password protected FTP. So whenever you're going to work with this anonymous FTP, sometimes based on the credentials like basic authentication or anonymous authentication, you have to provide username and password. This is also a basic FTP service, but it requires, as I said, it requires a username and password, though the service might not encrypt or secure. So this will work on the port 21. This is all about the anonymous FTP. Now, second one, FTP secure. We'll call it as FTPS. Sometimes referred as FTP secure socket layer. This approach enables implicit transport layer security, that is TLS, as soon as the FTP connection is established. FTPS was initially used to help enable a more secure form of FTP data transfer. It typically uses the port 990 whenever you are going to work with FTPS. Now, the third one, FTP over explicit SSL or TLS. We'll call it as FTPS in short form. This approach enables explicit TLS support by upgrading a FTP connection over the port 21. If you observe, FTPS works on 990, whereas FTP over explicit SSL will works on 21 by encrypting the connection. This is commonly used approach by web and file sharing services to enable secure file transfers. 
Now finally we will have secure FTP. This is technically not an FTP protocol but it functions similarly as FTP. Rather SFTP is a subset of the secure shell that is SSH protocol that runs over the port 22. SSH is commonly used by system administrators to remotely and securely access systems and applications. And SFTP provides a mechanism within SSH for secure file transferring. These are the different types of FTPs that what we have. All right. Now I have created an FTP on my local server. I will show you that. I'm going to access this by using FTP colon 192.168.1.6. As a basic requirement, whenever you are going to work with FTP actions, you require file transfer protocol server. Okay, then in that case, it will ask you to provide username and the password. I'm going to give my FTP user and I'm going to provide the password. And then I'm going to click on log on. If you see over here, once I have entered into the FTP, I'll find all the details like directory and the file name and the what are the directories are available inside the particular FTP server. Okay, this is the FTP server which I'm going to use for the upcoming sessions of the FTP while I'm going to work with different FTP actions. All right. Now I will show you what are the different FTP actions that we are going to work in the upcoming sessions. You can see over here in the action span that I'm having FTP. Under that I'm having open FTP connection, list FTP directory, open secure FTP connection, close connection, and I'm going to work with multiple directories. I'm going to work, download the files, downloading the folders, uploading files, uploading the folders. And you can see there are a lot of actions that we have that we are going to work with FTP actions in the upcoming session. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.